What is going on guys, it is Chris here from Spartan Justice, and today, I've got the modifiers that we know of in the Prison of Elders. Three of them are currently unknown, but I have got five of them that we do know and what they do. Thanks again to Cos Gaming for getting me this information, his link will be down below. So go check him out and make sure to show him some love. So let's get straight into it guys, the first modifier is Arc Burn. Of course we know this is to do more Arc Damage, so you're going to want to bring in your Crota Gear. Brawler, this is new, this is something exciting, this is increased damage when you attack an enemy with a melee attack. It's like Light Switch, but completely the opposite, we do more damage, not the enemy. Titans are going to have a hell of a lot of fun with this. Then we have Catapult. Catapult is grenade regeneration is greatly increased, meaning you're going to be spamming grenades. Could you imagine having the heart of Paratic Fire and having a wall? Oh my god, it's just going to be grenade spam every day. Now this, grounded, this is one of the things we don't know, but it sounds like you're not going to be able to use your double jump or glide ability. And this may be right because of the name, grounded, you're going to be grounded. You'll still be able to jump, but not use your special ability to glide or to blink. Now we have Juggler, we know that. Light Switch, of course we know that. Small Arms, this is a new one. This is, primary weapon damage is greatly favoured, meaning your Atheon's epilogue is going to destroy everything. And come on, who's not going to use a 365 Atheon's epilogue? Am I right? Or even a 365 Necrocas? Oh my god, it's going to be insane. I mean, Small Arms is go is just looks so amazing. Now we have got Specialist, as you can guess, this is going to be increased damage to your secondary weapon, so shotgun, your sniper, or your fusion rifle. We have Solar Burn, obviously solar damage, and Exposure. What is Exposure? It is increased shield capacity, but recovery is disabled. You can take a hell of a lot more damage, but your shield does not regenerate. However, you can regenerate health with things such as Orbs of Light for the Helmet, Red Death, or the Arc Blade ability for the Blade Dancer. Then we have Trickle. Trickle is a very unique one and it's probably going to be the world's worst one to get. Recharge of abilities is significantly reduced, meaning your grenade, melee and super are not going to get there as quickly as possible. Let's say you need 10 orbs of light for a super, you're going to need 20. And then we have Airborne. We don't know what this is, but it does sound like when you're Airborne you do more damage or take more damage. We're not too sure. Much like the Warlock ability, you can float in midair and deal damage. This looks like it's going to be something along the lines of that, but we do not know until launch date. So I could be wrong again about the three that I speculated about, but like I said, make sure to go check out Cos Gaming down below for giving me this information. He's a motherfucking awesome dude, makes amazing YouTube videos, and he needs more credit, guys, so go show him some love. As well, check out the Guardians of Destiny. We are a bunch of YouTubers dedicated to bringing you the best Destiny content. Screw all those other community YouTube channels. <laughs> you gonna get the best content in Guardians of Destiny. So guys, thanks so much for watching, I'll see you in the next video, make sure to drop a like if you enjoyed, and thanks so much for watching, have an amazing day.